Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, it's been a highly requested tutorial that I finally teach you how to draw this certain princess because I did it a really long time ago, but it was kind of an anime version. So I want to teach you guys how to draw Princess Cinderella, Disney Cinderella, the original, not the new updated one. So this is more of the original Cinderella we all know from the movies, so not the live action or not the updated princess version but remember you always want to start with laying out the basic shapes of a face so I'm just gonna go ahead her head is a little bit tilted to the side so we'll start with her overall face and I'm using my Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil. After I lay out the basic shape of her face what I'd like to do is go ahead and give her her eye guidelines and then where the middle of her face is, so this is the line on where her nose will fall. And it's just to kind of mark off, we're seeing more of a three-quarter version of her face as opposed to looking straight on or a profile. Next, what I'd like to do is start with her right eye. So with her right eye, we're just going to go up. Now she does have very small eyes, so we're going to go right up, turn right back around, and then down into the corner of her eye. She has small eyes because her eyelashes define her face a little bit more. After this eye, I'd like to go ahead and give her her nose ridge because her left eye is built up off of her nose ridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down her nose ridge, bring it down to the side just a little bit, and then bring out her nose and just start to circle that way down. Now I can go ahead and start building off her left eye because her left eye is tucked into the corner of her nose. So I'm going to bring out this side of her eye and I'm making sure that it's still level with the other side. So that means I need to go a little bit higher. Bring this down and then back into her nose and round it down. Now this looks a little bit off now, so that means we have to go ahead and define her face a little bit more. Her forehead comes out to this side, and then her cheek will go out. So let's go ahead and, before we do that, I want to go ahead and give her her eyebrows. So I'm going to start over here with this eyebrow. Bring this out over here. One eyebrow here, and then her eyebrow is built up of off, off of her nose ridge. Bring this up, and then down. And then her eyebrow will essentially go off of her forehead. Bring this down, her forehead, bring it down, go in towards her eye, and then we curve outward and we go right back out. Curve this in and bring this down to her chin. And we're gonna actually come back up and give her more of a defined jawline. She has very thick lips, so how I like to draw lips is I like to start with just a smile. A basic smile. And then I'd like to bring down one side of that smile, so I'm starting on the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and curve around that left. See how I'm making a C shape? And I'm going to curve right back up and go into that smile. This gives me a chance to go ahead and fill in her lips. So I'm going to start from this side, bring up this part of her lip, and then bring up this side. So we have the dip in her lip right here, and then we go ahead and bring up these two hills to define her lip. And then I'm going to jump right back down to here, where this line is, where the C is, where it starts, right about here. I'm going to go ahead and curve that upward to give her that white part of her smile. So that gives me a chance to fill everything in and connect it a little bit more because she does have super thick lips. So I can fill this in. And then fill in this bottom part. After that, let's go ahead and start detailing her face a little bit more, starting with her eyes. So from the top part of her eye, this would be her eyelash line on the top, I'm going to go ahead and give her one pupil iris area here. So one good circle, a little bit of some white space in her eye down below, and then this eye is tucked over into the corner, the pupil iris area over here. 
and we still have that nose ridge that's cutting off the side of her eye. But this pupil iris area should go all the way into the corner and then this one should go right about there. I'm going to chop down her eye just a little bit and give her a thick upper eyelash line on the right side because she is mostly eyelashes. She doesn't have fluffy eyelashes, they're more built up into a fluffy section of three. So I have one, two, three. Couple sections there. And she doesn't really have a dark eyelash line at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring down her pupil and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a shine up in here. color in the tops of her irises just to blend into that blue. Now I'm going to jump over back over to the left eye and the same concept with her eyelashes. They get a really thick eyelash line on top and bring out her eyelash in sections, little itty bitty sections. And it does curve around the side and then I'm going to go ahead and give her a little bit of a shine up in the corner and I'm going to bring down her pupil built up around that shine and back into her nose ridge. I'm going to get rid of this a little bit of guidelines bring down I was getting a little too thick over here but let's take a chance to go ahead and clean up some of these guidelines to make her look more uniform. Let's shape up her right eyebrow just a little bit so it goes a little bit up and it's a little bit more boxier and then it gets more of a tail at this side. All right, let's go ahead and give her more of a nose. So we have her nose ridge in the overall area of her nose. So I'm just gonna bring down this side and I'm gonna go ahead and give her her nostril over here and then the side of her nostril just to complete that good old looking nose. There we go. Cindy's hairstyle, it's interesting, but <laughs> it's just an interesting hairstyle, but her bangs aren't in sections. They're more in like, they look like hills to me. So I'm going to go ahead and start off to the side and we're going to go right above her eyebrows. So we're just marking off where these hills are going to go and we'll define them a little bit more. So here's the hills and then here's where her side of her <laughs> hair is gonna go but then we have a section of hair off to the side as well get rid of those old guidelines let's start off to the side over here we're gonna bring this up and then down and then we're gonna bring this part up and then down now let's define more of her bangs so we have a section right here goes up and then another section so we have a section here section here and then this section that goes down across the side of her face and then we have this section going up and this section going up and then this section going up so we'll curve this back down just a little bit and we'll define this one up go down clear up this mid part and then we gotta start her headband. Before we start her headband, I'd like to come back to the side of this part right here. She doesn't really show her ear. She shows her headband piece that kind of looks like it covers her hair. I mean her ear. So we have this headband piece to the side. So we have to make sure that the headband goes this way. So it's gonna go up and then this one's gonna go up. And I'm gonna jump back off to the side, go up to here and bring this around and connect that headband and go on top of that and connect that headband so it's okay to draw through her bangs and we want to go ahead and cut off this section of bangs right here to make sure that these headband pieces match up but her bangs in a way are still in front of that headband piece. So we have one section of her bangs that is overlapping the headband piece. I told you Cindy's hair is somewhat difficult. <laughs> it's interesting, but that's how they wore their dues back up in the day. All right, so <laughs> after her headband, we have sections of her hair that is her bun that is overlapping on top. But I wanna start over here first. So we have our headband and I'm just gonna lightly shade in the headband so we know this is our headband. I'm not going to shade over here that much because 
we have to go over that again and erase part of the headbands. So I'm gonna go back behind her ear, her earpiece, circle up, and we're gonna start the lumps of the bun. So we have one lump, two lump, and then three lump. So the middle one is a little bit more defined and then the outside. So we have one, two, three. And then this section will go over her headband and then we have another section going over her headband. All flows together. Let's get rid of some guidelines and get rid of that headband piece. Let's go ahead and give her a neck. I'm gonna go underneath my earpiece right here. Her neck's gonna go down and outwards. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take her other side of her neck. And I'm actually gonna define her chin a little bit more to be underneath her lips. There we go. That looks a little bit better. She was looking a little weird there for a second. Define that. Her chin. And there should be a break of her jawline going up into that earpiece. Yeah, let me just make this a little bit more defined. Bring out her cheek a little bit more and her forehead. Her neck is going to go inwards to here. And then her chest is going to start coming out this way. So let's start over here with bringing out her neck section this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and give her that poofy sleeve on her dress. So it's just basically a circle, a little bit bigger than that. These are poofy, poofy sleeves, better than the 80s. And then I'm gonna go ahead, from my poofy sleeve over here, go ahead and swoop down. Swoop down, and you're gonna connect up back into this section. And then we have another section of poofy sleeve right back here. We'll leave that open for now. Bring out her chest. Go outwards. And then bring down her torso. And I'm actually going to bring this up just a little bit more. And then from underneath her arm, you're going to bring out the other side of her torso. and it's gonna start going outwards. I know that the Disney princesses are very uh, bodily not proportionate. So I'm gonna make it slightly proportionate. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this part of her, her torso, leads up into her chest. And this torso part's gonna go out this way. And we're gonna cut off that bodice and the trick is with her dress, you're supposed to go to the middle of the V-neck and it's going to go out and then down and then back into the midsection. So it goes out and down and I'm going to define her chest right here as well. But you want, essentially when you're drawing Cinderella, that midsection of the torso is always there, especially with um, her new dress and her old dress. It's that middle section is very important. After this part right here, you're gonna go ahead and from the middle, just go up and break that into one piece and curve it upwards. One, one piece, and I mean by break it up into a half. And then we're gonna start, I'm gonna draw through her shoulder and bring out her upper arm and it's just easier to line up and draw through the puffy sleeve so I can see that a little bit more. So we're gonna bring down her arm, her upper arm, and then we'll have the crease of her arm. So this is her forearm. Bring this down so it's just another section 
If it helps you to draw in long oval circles and that works, then I'm going to go ahead and draw up because her wrist is curving upwards. and break this up into a section itself by making it look like an acute angle. Bring this down, back up into her wrist. The, her, her hands are pretty easy, just to simplify it a little bit more, I'm gonna only define her pinky, her ring finger, and then her middle finger, and we'll kind of see her pointer finger in the middle because it'll be clasping onto a piece of her dress. And to draw that piece of a dress, you're just gonna go ahead and bring up this piece here, and then a piece over here, right in between her fingertips. That way it looks like she is clasping onto part of her dress. She has gloves on. So this is the only part of skin we see, skin here and then skin on her other side of her arm. To make it look like she has gloves on, you just wanna kinda of bring out each side of the glove and make it look more of a cloth creases as opposed to skin creases. And this will go swooping underneath her arm and the poofy sleeve should look like it's going on top and erase these bits and pieces. And then on this side, we don't see much of her arm. We see a poofy sleeve off to the side. Make sure it's even with the other. And then under here, we see her other arm. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and circle upwards and back into here. So I make this weird looking rounded off square, bring it out, and then we have another midsection, so the thing is you want to bring this out, bring this out, go back in, go back in. This is essentially showing that she has a crease in her, she's bending her arm because she, we're seeing the inside of her arm as opposed to the outside. So let me clear up some guidelines really fast so you can see that a little bit better. And now this hand is a little bit more trickier because we're gonna go at her wrist. Her hand is gonna go up. This way, so we make this weird looking. We're gonna go up, off to the side, down, and then back in and make another little section right here. So this is the bottom of her hand and this is her fingers. So these are her knuckles. So we give her that pinky definition, ring finger, middle, and then forefinger. And then we start to go off to the side, bring this up, forefinger, and go back down. And I'm running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> we have her thumb and then we have this part but she's clasping her dress on this side as well so we have her hand over here that's cla clasping this side of her dress and then we have her side of dress over here so I'm just gonna lightly go ahead and sketch out and this piece of the dress is coming from the midsection so she's got that dress and I'm out of room <laughs> Sorry. And then I'm gonna go off to the side of her bodice and give her those, I don't know what to call them. They're just big fluffy layers on top. I'm gonna go off right about here. So we are at her torso and then that midsection. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that fluffy layer over here. And then we actually see the fluffy layer over here. Bring this out behind her hand. I'm gonna draw behind her hand. Draw behind her hand. And then I'm going to go back to that midsection and that'll show me that big fluffy layer that we all know about Cinderella's dress. Last but not least, she is wearing a choker around her neck. So all it is is right about in the middle of her neck and it's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's just that black choker. 
Now, there are two different shades of blue on her dress. This is the lighter blue, this is light blue, and then this, this is the darker blue. So her torso, the torso part of her dress, and then this section right here, underneath her hand, what she's holding, and then this section that she's holding. These are all the more of a darker blue as opposed to these fluffy layers here. They're a lighter blue and her gloves are a lighter blue as well as her shoulder fluffiness. And I'm gonna lightly shade up a couple pieces on her face, kind of get rid of some of these guidelines. So I'd like to shade back here behind her nose ridge off to the side, give her some rosy cheeks. And I don't have a shading stick, but I'm gonna use the top of my fingertip just to smooth everything in, give her those rosy cheeks. And in her lips a little bit more, just getting cleaning up those bits and pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly shade above her eyelashes because she is wearing a tan, a tan eyeshadow. Darken over here too. And I'm just gonna lightly shade underneath her nose and off to the side. And underneath her neck, we got some shading under there. But yes, guys, I hope that was helpful. It's a quick, easy way on how to draw Cinderella. I hope, I know, I know, I haven't been doing tutorials in a while, so as always, please leave in the comments below who you would like to learn how to doodle next. I know that Somebody said that I haven't done a uh, Tinkerbell or Wendy doodle in a while, and I think it's because I took those down as well. It's just that the Tinkerbell one, I think, was somebody else's artwork as opposed to an actual sketch of Tinkerbell, so I feel more proper drawing Tinkerbell as from an actual image from Peter Pan as opposed to copying someone's actual artwork that they made themselves in their own originality. So yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all on Saturday. Bye!